still not 100% convinced the box even exists. Got anything? All clear. Come look at this. What's up, Chief? I'd be expecting some kind of glow or mystical humming. This sector looks empty. Okay, last time, I think we looked over here, here. Maybe here. Is that what you remember? I don't know. Does it matter? If we missed something the first time, we should look at everything again. Yeah, good point. Okay. Do you think the river is higher or lower than it was? Come on, man. Stop asking me to remember things. As soon as Operation Lone Wolf got called off last time, I completely pushed it from my mind. This is not the time to fucking wander off. <laughs> <laughs> a research operation. Let's just spread out and make the best of them. I'll cover that area. supposed to listen to? Well, Rourke is a military leader and Dominguez's decisions are getting people killed. So you better decide right now where your loyalties lie. Are you fucking kidding me? It's as simple as this. 
I need to know you have my back. Command lost contact with Row Team. Let's make sure it doesn't happen twice. She's not getting past us. We really gotta stop her. Twenty first of December, sixteen oh three. Lopez had grown pensive since exiting the cenote. I led the way, and when I turned toward the city, at last he spoke, calling for us to stop. Then, after swearing me to silence, he shared with me a secret he had been carrying. That night, by the river, I met with the Emperor. I confessed to him who I was, who we are, and the true purpose of our visit. Trinity's fattened leaders, too busy with politics for even the morning's prayers, are not worthy of the box. The Emperor and I agreed that the only way to keep it safe from them was for me to claim it, take it far from here and hide it until one of the Paititi royal line, a chosen one, can follow his antecedents clues and rediscover it. Having thus unburdened himself, Lopez turned on his heels and set a course deeper into the jungle. This is a record of a mercenary's assignments while working for Trinity. Mexico, Kenya, Siberia. I had my crosshairs on the younger one too, but Rourke had orders for us to leave her alone. This is the bastard who shot Anna. What the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do? Hunaratu's dead, shot in the back by Rourke. I don't have the box. Jonah. God, if anything happens to him. God damn it.
Hello, Lara. Who is this? I've suspected you've been monitoring my communications since Mexico. <sighs> Rourke. Commander Rourke. You've been listening to me. And now, I'm listening to you. Another foreshock. How's it feel, knowing you're responsible for all these cataclysms? All that suffering? I know what I did. The look on your face when Dominguez told you? But you just had to have that dagger, didn't you? guys at the beach. We can't have one again. We'd better do a sweep. Anything interesting in that new shipment? Thermal goggles, gentlemen. I'll take point. I got something! Where? Shit! False positive. Some animal. Hey, are we getting those lights up or what? I'm never gonna get them working if you keep pestering me. What's the damn hurry all of a sudden? Rourke said Cross coming through here. God damn it! All right, I'm hurrying. Here we go. Those goggles picked up anything yet? Small animals, nothing significant. I'm gonna make a full sweep of the area. is unreal. Yeah. Nowhere she can hide. Full up. Can't carry any more. God damn it, people! Use the goggles! Find her! Sam. Do you see anyone? If I did, I'd be shooting.
As if looking for something in the dark in these ruins wasn't creepy enough. I used to go hunting with my dad in conditions just like this. Except the ruins were creepy old trees. All right, got any pointers? No matter how good the prey is at staying hidden, it can't go without a mistake forever. All it takes is one tiny slip, and it's all over. Be shooting. I'm gonna get her, I swear it. What if they're hiding? Unless the concealment is completely gone. Maybe the repairs will last this time. Gotta investigate. Unless the concealment is completely blocking the heat she gives off, I'll see her. Ah. Come on, Croft. Show yourself. As if looking for something in the dark in these ruins wasn't creepy enough. I used to go hunting with my dad in conditions just like this. Except the ruins were creepy old trees. All right, got any pointers? No matter how good the prey is at staying hidden, it can't go without a mistake forever. All it takes is one tiny slip, and it's all over. Using mud to evade us! Pretty smart! What the fuck is that?
a recipe for a hallucinogen, sometimes used in war. This should help. If I use this on my arrows, it could be an advantage against Trinity. be Mama Zara. <laughs> I always thought her forms of worship were a fun tradition. She was the Incan goddess of grain, and her name means maize mother. So if ever a farmer found a strange maize plant, they would dress it up like a doll in honor of her. She was also the goddess of willow trees, so sometimes the farming communities would hang one of their maize dolls from a willow tree and dance around it for her. Trinity can rot in this jungle. And as for the Pytetian Emperor, not even he can truly understand just what this box is. But I do, and I know it should not be used by just anyone. That would be catastrophic. Only the purest among us should make the decision as to how to wield the power of the silver box. That is why I must hide it. I say again, Croft is coming to you. Jesus Christ. We'll get her, sir. Show me her corpse, and your entire team is next in line for Deacon training. Rourke out. You heard the man, let's do this. We're too many for her. Doing terrible. I'll tell you all! Jesus. Move it for 
Christ. Shh. We'll get her, sir. Show me her corpse, and your entire team is next in line for deacon training. Rourke out. You all right? Camp's having trouble receiving me. As soon as this is up, we'll use it to boost your signal. Okay. How the hell do I patch these together? Needs help? Need a hand? Huh? He's mad! Jesus!
Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Jonah? Jonah, come in, please. He's not gonna answer, Lara. What? He's dead. Now you can add your friend Jonah to the list of people you've gotten killed. Fuck you, Rock. If you want to pick up his body, it's at the refinery. I'm coming for you. Dominguez forbade us from mingling with the locals, didn't want us corrupting them. Luckily, one of the priests developed a taste for bourbon, and as long as I brought a pint with me, he'd lend me his costume, mask and all. Walking through the lower city was like travelling 500 years into the past. This hard hat is decorated with peacock feathers and what seems to be the likeness of a jaguar.
Making everything worse. <laughs> you're not. Hey, you're not. We can do this. <sighs> Come on. Where to next? Can't stay here. I don't know, Jonah! <laughs> What was that clue? Uh, the heart of the serpent, something... The heart of the serpent is in the cup, near the many stone faces. And what kind of cup are we talking about? Some kind of chalice? A chalice that's not very mine. Wait. It's not mine. The clue was left by a 17th century missionary, Andrea Lopez, a Jesuit. The serpent in the chalice is a symbol of St. John. We're looking for a Christian holy site. Like a church of San Juan? That's a pretty common name. Could be dozens. Not within trekking distance from Paititi. Come on, the road is this way. We'll get out of here, talk to some people. Okay. What would I do without you?
Church of San Juan. Let's split up. I'll look for signs of Lopez. We'll ask around, see what we can find out. <laughs> 